asking what's up with this crumbling concrete on a north side viaduct. Cracked pillars, peeling paint, looks nasty, but is it dangerous? That's what Jefferson Park residents want to know. CBS 2's Marie Saavedra took their fears to Union Pacific and got answers. Frustrating. If you love your neighborhood but think it could use a facelift, you know how Michelle Kaminch feels. I drive under there a couple times a week. I don't walk under there anymore. At issue for her, this Union Pacific viaduct at Lawrence and Avondale in Jefferson Park. You see a big chunk missing, and that's what started this whole thing when I saw that missing, and I reported it two years ago. In 2019, she took these pictures and sent them to her alderman who asked Union Pacific. They came back and said, well, they inspected it and it's structurally safe. End of story. Until August 25th. More crumbling infrastructure causing concerns tonight after these chunks of concrete fell into the Kennedy Expressway. When bits of Metro's Milwaukee Avenue bridge fell, IDOT insisted it was safe, but it renewed Kaminsch's worry for this spot. And this time she had backup. If it's not necessarily unsafe, it just feels unfriendly. Ryan Richter founded Jefferson Park Forward, which works on neighborhood beautification. On the viaduct wall, it says welcome to Jefferson Park, and then you get under it and you see the bridge and it's like not a very welcoming site for our community. We took their concerns to Union Pacific, which says it inspects structures like this twice a year. In this case, this property was looked at on March 5th and the inspectors deemed that it was safe. They say it's not pretty, but it is not a threat to anyone passing under it. But after we showed up to the viaduct, we noticed a Union Pacific workman did too, to give it the once over. Still, this all feels like a cop out to Kamich. Why is, why is everybody after the citizens to take care of their property and corporations get, get a carte blanche to do whatever and not follow up and not take care of their property? So she'll continue to keep looking up. In Jefferson Park, Marie Saavedra, CBS 2 News.